He saved and adopted this black kid 27 years ago. You won't believe how he repaid him years later. In the dense warren of a dilapidated neighborhood, Michael was trapped in a world that offered little more than poverty and pain. With the rickety apartments home to more neglect and care, he was nothing more than a young, vulnerable boy, left to the mercy of both his dismissive parents and the hardened kids who found amusement in his torment. Michael, with his tussled hair and wide, hopeful eyes, was a constant victim to their cruel mockery and ruthless bullying. Yet, despite his hardships, Michael clung to a spirit of resilience. Each bruise was a little battle scar, each insult a testament to his fortitude. One ill-fated day, his life teetered on the brink of oblivion. A monstrous blaze engulfed his apartment building, devouring everything in its path. Michael found himself cornered in his room, a small boy facing an insatiable inferno. Smoke curled around him, heat licked at his skin, and his hopes wilted as he saw his world crumbling to ashes. But in this vortex of chaos, destiny had a different plan. Enter John, a sturdy and compassionate police officer, an unyielding beacon of justice and hope in the community. John, whose strong heart held an unwavering commitment to serve, happened to be nearby when the flames ignited. Not a man to stand by while a life was at stake, he plunged into the inferno to find the boy he had only ever seen from a distance. Guided by the cry of a frightened child, John discovered Michael trapped and terrified. The flames were raging. The heat was unbearable, but John pressed on, undeterred by the danger. With a strength born of years on the force and a commitment to the badge he wore, John scooped the boy into his arms and made a daring escape, shielding Michael from the wrath of the fire. Emerging from the building, blackened and battered but alive, John held Michael close. The small boy, eyes wide with a potent mix of terror and gratitude, clung to his savior. As the fire engines wailed and the chaos unfolded, the officer made a life-altering decision. He would not let Michael return to the life he had known before, a life of neglect and cruelty. John, a hero in uniform and now a guardian in reality, welcomed Michael into his home. He adopted him into a life far removed from the neglect and abuse of his past. The police officer, who had once saved a life, now had the chance to reshape it. A new beginning dawned for Michael, offering him hope, safety, and love, things he had yearned for but never known. In the tender cocoon of John's home, a unique relationship flourished between Michael, the rescued boy, and John, the dutiful police officer. As the years rolled on, their bond tightened and morphed into a deep-rooted connection akin to that of a father and son. John was no longer just the officer who had saved Michael from a fiery death. He was a beacon of love, guidance, and support, a father figure in the truest sense. John, with his heart as vast as his wisdom, took it upon himself to nurture the young boy. Understanding the immeasurable value of hard work and education, he instilled these principles in Michael. Their living room transformed into a classroom where John taught Michael not just about the academic wonders of the world, but also the value of dedication, perseverance, and commitment. Homework sessions became life lessons, with John highlighting the importance of struggle in the journey to success. John knew that education was a lifeline, a powerful weapon that could combat the circumstances of Michael's past and pave the way for a future far brighter than their present. He emphasized learning's transformative potential, framing it as a door to opportunities that had been unthinkable in the bleak alleyways of Michael's childhood neighborhood. However, while John was able to provide a safe haven and educational opportunities, he was also acutely aware of the harsh realities of the world outside. He understood that being a black boy in a predominantly white society came with its unique challenges, its unseen hurdles, and its often unspoken prejudices. John didn't shy away from these difficult conversations. Instead, he opened up dialogues about race, prejudice, and the importance of personal identity. He taught Michael about the rich history and the powerful resilience of their race. He instilled in Michael the understanding that his skin color was not a limitation but a mark of strength, a testament to a lineage of resilience and courage. John understood that empowering Michael involved acknowledging the pain reality of racism. 
Yet, he made sure to equip Michael not with fear, but with confidence, resilience, and a profound understanding of his worth. He offered him the wisdom to recognize prejudice when it reared its ugly head and the courage to rise above it with dignity intact. In teaching Michael about the world, John also showed him the importance of empathy and kindness. He shared stories from his career as a police officer, highlighting how compassion often made the difference in people's lives. It was a lesson he demonstrated daily through his unwavering support, his patient guidance, and his unconditional love. Growing up under John's mentorship, Michael began to thrive. He blossomed from a scared boy into a confident young man, understanding his place in the world, yet never allowing the world to limit his place. His path was a testament to the power of love, education, and resilience. The passage of time brought remarkable changes for Michael. From a young boy stranded in an impoverished neighborhood to a man of the law, his journey was a testament to the power of resilience, determination, and the profound influence of a caring mentor. As Michael stepped into courtrooms, his heart brimming with a sense of justice he had nurtured under John's guidance, his past and present seemed worlds apart. His success as a lawyer was no small feat. It was the culmination of years of tireless studying, relentless hard work, and an unwavering commitment to the values John had ingrained in him. Each court case, each client represented a nod to the man who had saved him from a life of neglect and presented him with an opportunity to create a better future. Despite the escalating success, Michael never allowed himself to forget the roots from which he'd sprung. The memories of a small, scared boy lost in a burning building were a stark contrast to the accomplished lawyer he'd become. And at the heart of those memories was John, the police officer, who became his savior, mentor, and father figure. John's kindness and generosity had been the foundation upon which Michael built his life. It was not merely the material support, but also the emotional strength and wisdom that John provided which propelled Michael to such great heights. The desire to acknowledge this debt of gratitude grew stronger within him each day. However, Michael knew that any attempt to repay John had to be as meaningful and impactful as John's actions had been for him. It wasn't about returning a favor. It was about enriching John's life in the same way John had enriched his. After much contemplation, Michael found his answer in a world very familiar to John, service to others. He decided to establish a scholarship fund in John's name, aimed at providing opportunities to underprivileged children who, like Michael once was, had dreams larger than their means. It was an initiative that would mirror the compassion and generosity that John had shown him, extending the same to others. Michael announced his plans during a celebration of his latest courtroom victory. The crowd fell silent as he narrated his story, the tale of a frightened boy, a burning building, and a police officer who risked his life to save another. And when he revealed his plans for the scholarship fund named after John, the room erupted into applause. Tears glistened in John's eyes as he realized the extent of the impact he had made on Michael's life. He felt a deep sense of pride, not only in Michael's success, but also in the man he had become. This gift, the scholarship fund, was more than just a gesture. It was a continuation of a legacy. The legacy of giving a chance to someone who might not have had one, of changing a life through compassion and education. In the throes of his success, nestled among the piles of legal documents and the relentless hum of justice being pursued, an idea blossomed in Michael's mind. He wanted to encapsulate his gratitude towards John, the man whose influence had sculpted his life's path in a meaningful gesture that would impact countless other lives. With a heart full of appreciation and a mind brimming with determination, Michael decided to establish a foundation. This would not be just any foundation, but one carrying John's name, a tribute to the man who had saved him from the flames of his past and shaped him into the successful lawyer he'd become. The John Foundation, as Michael planned, would serve a dual purpose. The first part of its mission would be to provide scholarships to aspiring black children who harbored dreams of studying law. Understanding the complex challenges faced by black students in accessing education, Michael wanted to ensure that other young, hopeful minds would not be limited by their circumstances, as he once was. This initiative would be a beacon of hope and opportunity, 
ensuring that John's legacy of transforming lives through education continued. But Michael didn't stop there. The Foundation's vision extended to another marginalized group in society, homeless black men. Drawing from his personal experiences and John's tales of service, he understood the hardships that these individuals face daily. Thus, he also planned to open a homeless shelter. This sanctuary would not only provide the basic needs of shelter and food, but also offer supportive services aimed at rehabilitation and reintegration into society. As the foundation took shape and its initiatives came to fruition, the impact was immediate and significant. Black students found doors opening for them into the world of law, while homeless men found more than just a roof over their heads. They found dignity and hope for a better future. The celebration of the Foundation's success was a significant event. The gathering was attended by scholarship recipients, shelter residents, and supporters of the Foundation. Yet, as the center of the celebration, the relationship that held the most profound significance was that between Michael and John. As Michael delivered his speech, recounting his journey and John's instrumental role in it, he saw the glint of tears in the older man's eyes. John was visibly moved, a mixture of pride and humility washing over him as he watched Michael, the young boy he had once rescued from a burning building, now a successful lawyer, extending the same hope to others that he had given him. The evening ended with Michael and John standing together their eyes reflecting the success that the foundation had garnered. In that moment, Michael felt a sense of fulfillment. He'd finally found a way to repay John, not with simple words or material possessions, but with a legacy of hope and opportunity that John had once given him. Their story concludes with a resounding message of gratitude, resilience, and paying it forward. It's the tale of a boy saved from the flames and the man who rescued him. It's about the transformation of a victim into a victor, of a mentor into a legacy. Above all, it's about the power of a single act of kindness and how it can be rippled through the lives and generations, creating a wave of change that leaves no one untouched.